Hey guys, this is a clip from our podcast, Color Me Bloody. You can find us on iTunes at Color Me Bloody MMA Podcast. Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Color Me Bloody. You can also get in contact with us via email, Color Me Bloody MMA at gmail.com. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, We're a weekly podcast. Okay, Check us out. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> All right, let's find out why Nate Diaz wants out of his Ultimate Fighter 18 finale fight with Gray Maynard. I'm I'm just going to read the the tweet. At UFC. (laughs) He tweeted it at the UFC, for the record. Nate's getting used to this whole internet thing, you know? It's like your grandma trying to use Twitter. He's coming into his own here. At UFC. Can't make it November 30th. I've got a high school reunion I have to tend to. With two O's. What is uh, that? <laughs> I can tell you what I think it is. I think it's him just being a douche and trolling. I think that's his way of saying to the UFC and to the fans, yo, I don't want to fight that Gwen Mania guy again, man. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Nate Diaz is retarded. Oh, hey, he's, man. he's a good fighter. I love I just... <laughs> him, dude. I love the Diaz brothers, but there's just something about him that is just, ugh. God, man, you wish their parents were around when they were growing up or something. <laughs> something like that. I mean, they wouldn't be the fighters. They might not even be professional fighters today if it wasn't for the way they were raised. Like, you got to take the bad with the good, and that's the way I look at it. But this, they are just, they need about 10 managers each. Uh, what the heck? They shouldn't even be allowed to use Twitter. The, before that, when the fight was originally announced, what did he say? What was his tweet? Do you remember? Yeah, he said he he said uh nah fuck that. I want Pettis, I think. Like yeah. right afterwards. Like, Apparently even his his tweets have an accent. Guy, you're on a two fight losing streak. You just fought for the title two fights ago. You get dominated by Ben Henderson and then you get knocked out. Yeah. Well TKO. By Josh but, you know, Thompson. By Josh he's, Thompson. He's yeah. Journeyman. Talk he, about a journeyman. Yeah, he's definitely no <laughs> title contender. For those of you who don't know, Josh Thompson is fighting for the title. Well, we discussed that on our last yeah. show. For those of you who don't know, Josh Thompson is For those Thompson of you who don't listen all, to the show, everyone. You know, I don't, you know, I don't blame you necessarily. <laughs> um, yeah, that's interesting, man. That, I just still can't get over that. I just, I'm looking at it on the screen right now at UFC. Can't, at least he called out first. <laughs> like that's that's the modern day equivalent to calling out. Yeah, he let his boss like, know directly. At Dana White, I got an injury. I'm not gonna. Yo, be able dog, to... can't make it. Does he? I mean, does he have anybody? I know what he's. You're like you said. You're right. He's probably just trolling. But you never know with them, man. Yeah, he he had a bad taste in his mouth from their second fight because he lost a pretty contentious uh, split decision there. A lot of people thought he won it himself, including. I agree with him though. Less rematches. Less rematches. I know, they're Green all over Maynard. the place, especially they're, at lightweight. There's yeah. so many new fighters at lightweight that could be in the mix against Nate Diaz and Gray Maynard. It's a crazy stacked division. So Why? many potential exciting matchups there. I don't know. The same <laughs> thing with the BJ Penn, Frankie Edgar. It's I know, like dude. so many good matchups these guys could have. Why are they fighting each other? Nate, yeah, so for those of you who don't know, uh, Nate Diaz choked out. I believe it was a uh, choke out against Gray Maynard in the Ultimate Fighter, but then they had a rematch in uh, the UFC, and uh, I believe it was on like an Ultimate Fight Night or something. And um, yep. Nate Diaz lost a split decision to Gray, so they're one and one. But a lot of people thought that Nate won the second fight. Um, regardless, even if it was flip a coin, I mean, a split decision is a split decision. So I mean, it's not right. like it's cut and dry. Gray won, regardless. And what sucks even more for him is if people like didn't know the history and or watch that season of the show, they wouldn't even know that they're one and one because that's not on there as an official pro fight. It's an exhibition, so it's not even on his record. And where if he you're, choked out Maynard, which is huge. And if you're Gray Maynard, do you even want that fight? I mean, you won the last one. Wouldn't you rather fight somebody else anyway? I wouldn't be excited about it if I was either guy. Yeah. And so, I'm not excited about it as a fan. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I agree. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. Have Nate Diaz fight, I don't know, some semi-top tier guy coming off a loss, like maybe a, a, a Healy or something. Yeah, no, that'd be cool. I mean, there's, there's plenty of people those guys could fight. Yeah, it wouldn't, if plenty. Jim Miller's still fighting, um, it doesn't matter. I mean, Yo, even if he already beat up. Jim Miller's ass, dog. I don't want to rematch, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my Nate Diaz. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand. I mean, I don't know. The three fights, 
if the first fight was better, maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's tough. But, uh, yeah, moving on. John Jones' next opponent is announced. 